Mr. and Mrs. Duncan Elliott. Mr. McAllister, it's so good of you to come. I never like to miss a red carpet, and certainly not one which can boast an English duke. <laughs> yes, where is that duke of yours? I don't think we can claim him as our own. I would. He'll be down momentarily. Is Mrs. Astor coming? She's opened Beechwood, so I asked her, but she made an excuse. She's a little cross with me right now. Well, I can understand why, but she is missing out on what may be the event of the new part season. Everyone's talking about it, especially those who weren't invited. Naturally, Mrs. Astor will feign indifference, then she'll force all the details out of me. Perfect. And all the right people are here. Even some who are on the other side in the opera war. My dear, the way to win a war is to bring out your biggest weapon. And yours is the Duke. Now, I hope I'm happy with my placement. I think you will be. His Grace, the Duke of Buckingham. Excuse me. Mrs. Russell, my room is a work of art. And I see everything's exquisite here, too. We do what we can. But I hope we haven't overwhelmed you with our guests. Of course not. <laughs> May I present Mr. and Mrs. Fane? How do you do? Mr. Fane. Mrs. Fane. Do you think Newport will live up to your expectations, Duke? I'm sure Mrs. Russell's Newport will. Well said. But not our Newport. May I present Mr. and Mrs. Winterton? I know the Wintertons. I hope I'll see more of you while I'm here. Well, you'll see as much of us as we're allowed. <laughs> what Mrs. Winterton means I is... don't think you've met our daughter, Gladys. Miss Russell. How do you do? Gladys. You look... Oh. <laughs> don't worry. You're sitting next to her at dinner. 